edge here um, there's an amazing sort of I suppose it's almost um, zebra pattern coming up the sides of his body so we're going to put that little edge in there because that's where our zebra pattern is going to go and the same this side so I've put a little bit of veining in um, I've used a neon colour gel pen this is a metallic dark grey so I'm getting a nice dark colour um, but it's also slightly metallic so I'm hoping that this will show through nicely when we start getting the um, iridescent eyeshadows on but you'll still see this so um, this is a gorgeous colour actually it really is like a deep gunmetal um, so we're quite liking this and we're just going to put some of it So I'm going first of all for a copper tone in these edges. Then from the pinky purple we're going to go to the deeper purple, blend that in. Oh, I love this. Why isn't everybody painting with the eyeshadow? It's so satisfying. There's glowing colours. Then we're going to go to a royal blue. That did not sound good. Blend that royal blue in. Again, the royal blue is going to come down into these pieces here. Then we go back to the lighter purple. Blend a little bit of that in there. We're going to go back to a brighter pink. We're going to blend that in here. Hello, darling. Little cat came out of hiding to go and see what's been dropped. It's ever nosy. So you can see the copper behind, but now you've got that iridescent <laughs> shimmer over the top loving it so we're going to get a little bit more of our gold again blend that in there maybe even a yellower one I've got this yellow one on here. I'm just going to just up the ante on that. And I'm now going to take the metallic green. Softer green here. Then I'm going to take the darker green. Here. This is where we can at last get that colour to take over the top of the metallic paint where we did the marbling. Um, 
and get our beautiful green metallic bug. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, save the lightest colour for last. Um, I'm now going to take, well, I haven't, let's get that right, let's just do this. I've just suddenly thought I could actually, there's some areas that I could just get a little bit darker before I go light. I want this darker. I want this darker. Now I can go to my lighter colour. So now I'm going for the turquoise. And I'm going to put it onto our blades here. I don't know quite else, how to, else to describe them. And I also I'm going to take the same turquoise down these thin streaks here at the side. carefully as I can. Okay, I'm also going to take some of that dark colour that I had in a minute ago and I'm just going to take that up the Right, so that's our eyeshadow applied. That makes all the difference in the world. So now I'm going to add the details on top of that as best I can, and we'll be there. Now, a little bit of my absolute all-time favourite eyeshadow. <gasps> Look at the colour of that. Look at it. It's just, oh, fabulous. So we're just going to put a little bit of this. Now we need to do his little bug eyes. Okay. I think that is done. So cool. Such a cool beastie. So that is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is number ten. I'm glad it's a good one for number ten. So I'm going to give it a little coat of hairspray just to hold all the eyeshadow in position. And, and then he's done. Uh, the paper's a bit wobbly and obviously if one was mounting it and framing it that wouldn't be so bad because you just put a mount over it. But yeah, pleased with that one. He's quite special I think. <laughs> 